season two is finally here. Yes. When you got your hands on that first script, what was your reaction? Uh, was was yes, finally. <laughs> um, we love the show, we, and we particularly love the writing. Uh, we love to work with one another. Um, we're also curious, like I think a lot of people are, as to where you know where we're going with all this. So. Yeah, it was, uh, it was great, but it, the funny thing was, for me was that within the first three weeks of filming, I was, shoot I was shooting scenes from maybe five or six different episodes without having read, <laughs> <laughs> without having read the, the entire script. So I was trying to feel my way around, uh, much like um, you know, Bernard, my character in the beginning of the, uh, of the season is, trying to figure out well, where exactly am I? You know? Well, where do we pick up with Bernard? Bernard is in a pretty vulnerable place. The world has been blown apart. Part of his head has been blown apart in that he shot himself toward the end of season one. So he's, he's, he's not as clear uh, of mind as he might want to be considering that, you know, there's chaos all around. So he's asking himself, you know, where am I in all this? Where is this going? Where is this going and how do I get there? He's got questions but no answers. I think um, like, you know, like uh, our audience will have at the beginning of the season. So Bernard's right there with you. What was your number one leftover question from season one? What next? Yeah, that's my, you know, that's, that's, it's, it's such, the, the premise is, is the premise behind Westworld offers almost infinite possibilities. And so the question becomes, what are we gonna do with this? How are we gonna use this, this, uh, this idea? Um, and where, where are we gonna go with it? So a few of those questions are answered in season two. Um, there were some reveals, some surprises in season one. Um, and there'll be some more in season two. But I'll tell you this though, I went back and watched the pilot, the first episode, a couple of weeks ago. If you go back and watch the pilot, there are some windows there okay. onto season two. Okay. So make sure you do that. Now, Elsie is back this season, which I was surprised to see because Bernard was kind of under the impression he maybe killed her. Yeah, will we see them interact? Is she back? I guess it's never safe to assume anything on this show, right? You know, yeah, <laughs> better better not to assume anything. Well, in line with assumptions, it seems like Ford is gone for good. Mm. How does that impact Bernard? Ford uh, took a took a bullet, and you know Bernard's got a robot brain. You know, Ford's human brain uh, didn't survive that. So, for Bernard, that means you know, a, a, a new type of freedom, a new type of responsibility. But it's obviously something that he's got to uh, to take on board because, you know, Ford was his creator. And uh, so that's, it's, you know, his, his he, Bernard is in between extremes. Does he have allegiance to this memory of Ford? Does he despise him? for the things that he's put. But how do you despise the thing that's created you? Right. Um, do, I have, do, do I have allegiances to the humans or to the hosts? Um, and where am I in all of this? And then that's all kind of compounded by the fact that, you know, things aren't really working <laughs> inside his robot brain as, <laughs> as he might want them to work. So yeah, there's a lot, to, there's a lot for him to figure out. And his, yeah. and his and his capacity to figure that figure those things out is diminished. If you had to sum up season two with just one word, what would that word be? Fire. Fire. I'll take it. It's just if uh, if season one is a was a bit of a slow burn, season two is jet fuel fire. A blaze. I will take a blaze.